You know, there's always going to be that portal each day where God gives you to prophesy and talk the word of the Lord over yourself and to speak in existence what's supposed to happen. That's why there's an authority in the mind that you don't often move with. And you have to be in the spirit for the spirit of God to show you that dimension. You have to pray in the Holy Ghost for him to build up your, 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 your spiritual authority to come forth. That's why Jude was saying, building up yourself in your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost, that means that you tap into the mindset of Christ, the ability to speak to mountains, the ability to deal with things you're supposed to bind, things you're supposed to lose. The kingdom authority is in praying in the Holy Ghost so that the mystery of what you're supposed to say, do, become, where you're supposed to go will enter you with clarity. As you're joining in, I want everybody to share this broadcast. I need over a hundred people to share this broadcast right now. Help me out. Every single person share this broadcast. Thank you for all my partners. Thank you for all of you all that sow into me. Thank you for all of you all that bless me. Thank you for all of you all that have helped me out. I want you to share this broadcast as you're joining on. As you're joining on, I want you to share this broadcast and say, Lord, I received the anointing for today. I received the glory of God for today, the blessing for today, and I receive the blood of Jesus covering me, protecting me, and bringing me into the blessing all today. Saints, whenever you get into that mode of authority, you also allow the Spirit of God to show you what has been weakening that authority, what you have been studying with your eyes, what you have dwelt upon, what you have desired that was outside of the will of God that weakens you. Did you know that when you desire things that God doesn't want you to desire, do you know that that weakens your personality, that takes your personality down a path that is not supposed to go? Did you know that you corrupt yourself and defile yourself when you let an imagination dwell inside of you that's not supposed to be there? Did you know that you become more wicked when you don't sanctify a place in your finances to sow into the word of God being preached to you by your man of God? Do you know that your heart becomes cold towards God? That sowing seed, it brings a softness for you to hear God and obey God. It brings a softness. It brings the spirit of unselfishness, the spirit of love. Remember, God has not given you the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power and the spirit of love and the spirit of a sound mind. So even the spirit of love is a dimension of unselfishness where it no longer becomes about you. It becomes about someone that's sent to you. It becomes about God in human flesh who he has put in your life that is your mentor, your investor, your, your prophet. Saints, the spirit of love will take you out of fear. It's more powerful than fear. And when you're in the spirit of love, you'll see your victory. You'll see your protection. You'll understand cherubims that come into your life when you're in faith. Faith attracts cherubims. Cherubims are beings that God made to move with the blessing, protect the blessing, and keep you in the flow of increase. When cherubims are in your life, they are protecting your garden. They are upgrading your garden. They are helping your garden. Cherubims, they understand what keeps the blessing on the increase. They know what keeps the blessing in the overflow. When you're in faith, you allow cherubims to enter your life and do their ministry. When you understand the angelic, angels are all around you when you're in faith. When you're in fear, you attract the demonic. When you're in lust, you attract the demonic. When you're in worry, you attract the demonic. I need you to share this broadcast. As you're joining in, share this broadcast. Say, Lord, I receive the blessing of 
Abraham. I receive the prophet's reward, the blessing of the prophet on my day, on my week. When you're in faith, the cherubims do their ministry. Now, saints, there's a healing company of angels. They are prosperity angels. They are there to heal the body. They are there to prosper your way. Abraham had the angels prospering his way in Genesis chapter 24. When you're in faith, you allow yourself to be introduced to angels. There are things that God have you do because when you do them, they bring you into the manifestation of angelic ministry. When you say certain things, you allow angels to have a pathway to do ministry in your life. You don't want to let a day go by without you decreeing certain things. In Job chapter 22, I believe verse 28 and on, it talks about decreeing and establishing things. That's what Jesus did. He spoke and he established. There are things that you're supposed to establish daily and you have to be in a sound mind, the spirit of a sound mind, so that you could think about it. Every day your focus should be to pray for wisdom. Proverbs chapter 2 verse 7 and on said that he stores up sound wisdom. That means that everything that you're supposed to do, you will not know to do it until you confront God. You have to go to the Lord and ask him, and then that's what he'll tell you. Ask and you shall receive. Jesus said, St. Papa, he said, everyone that acts is receives. He didn't say some. He said, everyone that seeks, they find. Everyone that knocks, the door will be opened unto them. That's a powerful promise. When Jesus said everyone that acts receives, that took the lid off of fear and worry. That put confidence. It says everyone that acts is receives. Think about it that you have a God, the Lord Jesus, that everything you ask him, you'll receive. Everything you seek, you'll find. Every time you knock, the door will be open unto you. So saints, receive the grace of perseverance and soundness of mind. Did you know that the spirit of a sound mind gives you a consciousness of God and the miracles of God, the plan of God, the will of God, the angels of God? The sound mind gives you a consciousness of what the Lord has planned to do. The sound mind opens up your soul to recognize that God has given something to you today for your benefit. There is an answer to everything that plagues you. There's an angel assigned to help you in every trouble you face. There's a blessing that's supposed to overtake you. The Bible says, I think in Psalm 68, that he daily loads you with benefits. So every single day, there are beneficial things that God wants to impart to you. Distraction resists impartation, but faith, it catches the benefits. If you're joining now, I want you to share this broadcast. Get this gospel out. Everybody, I want you to share this broadcast. Get the gospel out. Whenever you're in faith, you allow the power of the spirit to bring you into the benefits. So protect your faith at all costs. Remember, faith is energy to please God. Faith is a mindset that God endorses. Faith is actions that God rewards. Faith is conduct that God is impressed by. Remember, faith is the inability to be God's enemy. Faith is the inability to be God's enemy. Faith is the rejection of generational curses, generational impartations. Things that were not supposed to be continued through your life. Mindsets, doctrines. Faith is the momentum to pursue God's soul. When you have faith, you have momentum to pursue God's soul. Faith, it is the training to honor God. 
When you have faith, the spirit of the Lord shows you how to sow seeds, how to take what you have and give it to the gospel. Because the gospel has more for you of that same thing. The gospel has more money for you. The gospel has more health for you. The gospel has more assistance for you. Faith is where you exchange your decisions for God's will. You exchange your emotions for God's focus. When you receive God's focus, it purges your emotions. It purges your mind. 